Hallo zusammen, guten Tag. Welcome to Pillbology. This is a beginners level video, which can be found in the beginners level section of the YouTube channel. Today we are talking about Bist du in den Ferien weggefahren? Now, as some of you will know, or notice perhaps, you've got a gefahren in here. Weggefahren literally means did you go away. So weggefahren. But because it's a gefahren, it requires that you don't use haben, but in fact you use sein. Which is why we've got the question, bist du in den Ferien, in the holidays, weggefahren? And as you may already know, from watching the video on the past tense, the g, the past participle word, goes at the end of the sentence or the question. So, bist du in den Ferien weggefahren? Um, Let's just jump now to a sentence that we already know, which you will find in the other past tense video, looking at the perfect tense. For example, ich bin ins Kino gegangen. I went to the cinema. Now, again, you've got the gegangen and you've got the ich bin, because rather than uh, implying that you're standing still, it implies movement. You are going somewhere. Okay, which is why we use sein rather than using haben. Okay, so, ich bin ins Kino gegangen. Perfectly legitimate sentence. Well, what if you want to say you want to go to uh, a different country? You can't say ins Italien, which by now you've probably figured out means Italy. Uh, we've got here Spain, Italy, uh, excuse me, Spain, Ireland, without the E, Irland, Griechenland, Italien, and Berlin. Just to give you an example, because there's a slightly different rule than using this ins here, which you're just about to see. So, um, the start of the sentence, in order to answer the question, bist du, weg, uh, bist du in den Ferien weggefahren? As we take ich bin, or you'd say ja, ich bin, but the ins kino we get rid of, because we replace it actually with, um, with, this, with these here. So, rather than going to the cinema, we're going to a different country. The gegangen can technically be the same. Um, but there's one word that we need to add in uh, in order to say to. So, at the moment, we're saying, ich bin Spanien gegangen. doesn't really make sense. We need to say to. And if you are talking about a town, a city, or a country, you must be sure to use nach. Yes, in some cases it means after, but actually here we're talking about going to somewhere. It's just an idiomatic um, turn of phrase. So, ich bin nach Spanien gegangen. Now, gegangen is a perfectly legitimate past participle to use, um, but perhaps slightly more fitting would be if we used the verb for to travel or, in fact, to drive which is gefahren. So. And there's one more, which I'd like you to certainly be aware of, um, which is to fly, because in actual fact, you probably wouldn't drive all the way to Greece. You'd probably do what most people do and get a plane ticket. Geflogen. So, I went to Spain. Ich bin nach Spanien gegangen. You probably wouldn't do that, though. You'd probably say, Ich bin nach Spanien gefahren. Or, Ich bin nach, let's say, Italian, Italy, geflogen. So, I flew to Italy. And you'll probably be asked a question as to how your holiday was. Um, which would be, wie war es? How was it? Wie war es? In which case, depending on how your holiday went, um, es war gut, uh, es war interessant, or even if it was terrible, or it went quite badly, es war schlecht. In which case, you're probably not going to go there again. Okay? So... Let's just take this and put this out of the way for a moment whilst we look at the next point, uh, which is actually quite important. So 
So this is going to be talking about actually how long you were there for, how long you were actually away for. So quite literally, wie lange, how long, was du dort, were you there? A very English structure. Wie lange warst du dort? Um, to which you would reply, if you're talking about the we form, as in you went with your family, wir waren eine Woche dort. But of course, if it was you, you'd be talking from the ich point of view. So, ich, I was, have a go at filling in I was. Ooh, that's an E. So, correct. Ich war. I was. Literally, I was one week there. Ich war eine Woche dort. Now, in German, you'll notice that you don't need to say we were there for a week. Okay, so the for in English is taken out. So normally you'd say I was there for a week. Ich war für eine. We don't need that. We don't need the for. Just simply, I was one week there. Ich war eine Woche dort. And of course, it could be zwei Wochen. Making sure these are capitalized. Okay? Ich war zwei Wochen dort. Okay? So, just a quick intro to um, how to talk about your holidays um, and of the language to expect in the upcoming videos. Viel Spaß. Tschüss.